What the hell? Is the camp on fire? The action here is fierce, isn't it? <laughs> on fire? Never seen anything like you. Catfish and carp holidays. Unbelievable, man. <laughs> Well, here we are. It's time to leave Blighty behind, ready for another adventure. This time we're off to the River Ebro for a week's sun, fun, and a few fishies. With the cost of living causing havoc, pandemic putting life on hold for far too long, it's just going to be nice to get away and visit the old fella and mammy for the first time in ages for a well overdue get together. And this time, we have Dickie in tow as well for his first holiday abroad. That should be interesting. Hopefully he doesn't chuck me in the river after a week of bromance in the bivvy. That should be cosy. Anyways, we'll see how it pans out. Fishing's just the excuse. It's going to be nice to put the world to rights. And from what I've seen, this Nick fella, he's a bit of a character. He should fit in well with this band of misfits. Anyway, <laughs> hope you enjoy the video. Flying high, you know how I feel. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Breeze drifting on by, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn. It's a new day, it's a new life for me, yeah. and I'm feeling good. Let go. There's a hole there. There she goes. Bravo. 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 Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> If he goes round that junction, we're in trouble. That's another 
take another take. Another, another take on the other body. Look at that, man. Right? Take it up. Gone to lunch. Look at this vehicle here. Oh, wouldn't that make the perfect? Perfect extra Madura vehicle. <gasps> Camouflage it all out, everything, man. You sleep in the back of it. Oh. Dad just got back from the from having a meal celebrating their success and I said look I've seen a couple of cart roll in this area I said chuck a rod on it chucked a rod on it 20 minutes late it was just screamed off one rod man no pressure it is pearled off Steady pressure. That sort of pressure, that's fine, man. The clutch is going anyway, look. <laughs> yeah, 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 something. Yeah. Something quick. I just keep seeing him in that in that channel. Yeah. 
Yeah, no. It's like you say, it's, I'll be honest with you now. It's like... Oh, yeah, he's going right into the edge. Yeah. Is he going to swim into it? Well, he'll probably pop out, wouldn't he? Is it a Simo? No, no, you get like little Simo mirrors, man. It is a little Simo. <laughs> They're like little puffballs, man. Oh, awesome. Uh, always have to have a Simo involved. Simo for the video. There's your, there's your, there's your Simo. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Looks like a bloody chunk of bread. <laughs> That's a funny looking fish. Yeah, yeah no, well, they're, they're the Simo, they're live bait fish, they've been stuck into here. Isn't it? Yeah, well, they use them as live bait. Yeah. And really? they basically, at the end, they get released. Because if they if, 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 if they were used, they'd get damaged on the top of the bodies. Mm. A lot of them were like this. Let's get a quick photo of it and they're sticking back. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, they're really, really, really difficult to hold as well, man. Like. Yeah. Really slimy, yeah. guys. Ready? Come on. Here we go, that Simo mirror. This way, Jacob. Huh? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Whoop. Nice. I mean, the Simos, oh. the Simos the name of a nice fish oh. in England, to be fair. A guy, a guy called Mark Simmons yeah. beats them. Because well, it's the only farm fish I know, so I call them Simos. <laughs> <laughs> and it's kind of like they do, the so... Sun's out. <laughs> Even if it's a small one, it's, it's, it's a sign, you know what I mean? Like I say, with the sun being out, this is what the fish prefer. Oh, it's waking up. <laughs> so you don't want it too loose. Well, no, no, you can loosen it off if you want to. You don't need yours here. No, no, where you go.
Barbecue, looking really moody, looking really beautiful for some carp. Look up yourself some enjicot steak, got some kebabs, got some curry chicken, some homemade burgers, some sausages. Food for tonight. Foods on chicken, sausages, and some chicken kebabs. Ooh, yeah, got more to cut than the burgers, the steak. I think I've even got some sweet corn, man. Happy days. It's a bigger one. <laughs> Screamed over 35 and a half pound wild river Ebro cobble. <sighs> 35 and a half. No, just slide the mat to the edge of the water there and you can just okay. yeah no just slide the, the mat to the edge here and just slide him off through this hole ready ready got it just to there he doesn't have far to travel at all then filming Happy days! Happy days! Happy days. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. 
Yeah. He shot that dick. We need you to film while I knit. Just hold that and film. Yeah. That's better. And your your ball patch is shining like the moon. Go then. Yeah, if you go. Well, nice, nice night last night. Boys had three takes and um, 20 pounder, 35 and a half pounder, and this one in the sling, which we have yet to, to weigh, apparently is quite large. So um, it's going to be interesting to see what this one is and uh, see what we got. <laughs> Oh, 20 kilos exactly. Wow. <laughs> Told you it's fucking more than this 40 kilos. Fucking hell. So, yeah. Shots from here and then walk up. Sling. Yeah. Right. Oh, it's yeah, it's sort it though, you know, it's sunny and bright, you know. Pretty much. Pretty much. What we were after. Hoping for the oh, bigger. Yeah. Don't right. get a massive amount, but uh, when they do, it can be special like this. Oh, it's a special piece for me, that one. Yeah. You go. Buzzing. Absolutely buzzing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well done, my man. fishing no rods edge yet they're always down the bar <laughs> but it's like no wind this is pure there's fish jumping all over the all the weed beds and i think oh, like i say they profited last night with my theory of not having rods in the water and that's the first time they've done it where they've they took the rods out at 11 o'clock in the morning and then cast them back out until six and they had fish jumping in the margins and it was you know the usual you know, I'm, I get things right sometimes, you know, as a thing. <laughs> but this, this, that, like, the more you fish, the more you guide, the more you know you swim, the more you know how, when's a good time to have your rods in the water, when's not to. But yeah, not having your lines in the water can really profit sometimes, you know, because it allows the fish to gain confidence and come into the area. And um, fishing at the prime times when you know when they'll feed gives you that bit. So, I mean, bright sunshine, you know, daylight with the clear water of this place. There's not many places you're going to get daytime action, maybe down the dam. But uh, yeah, it's, but I just think it's profiteering. And they did, six runs. Wow, what a good night. Anyhow, hope you're enjoying the video. <laughs> and um, don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>